Hi there, my name is Charlie Cousins. I am an actor and director. I'm also an acting teacher, qualified life coach and meditation teacher. And for the last couple of years, I've been running a series of meditation classes, spiritual and personal development classes for actors and artists called The Presence of Art, um, helping actors and artists bring more of their spiritual practices into their artistic and creative practices so that they can nurture each other and support each other and strengthen each other. Uh, I'm going to be doing a series of videos um, opening this work up to the wider community. So if the work resonates with you, have a watch and um, join in and I look forward to the journey with you. Welcome. At first glance, it might seem unusual to bring meditation and spirituality into acting and art, you know. On the surface, it might seem like meditation and acting are kind of diametrically opposed, you know. I mean, on the surface, isn't acting all about, you know, finding a way to creatively trigger ourselves, you know, take everything really personal in order to create drama and conflict and tension and tell stories and, you know, and on the surface meditation isn't that about letting go of all the drama, letting go of the stories, letting go of the narratives, letting go of taking things personally learning to heal, learning to move beyond all of those games, you know, all of those plays. Um, but what I found, you know, when I first started exploring this, you know, over 15 years ago was that they're like two sides of the same coin, that the more I was able to explore these tools, these spiritual practices and meditation exercises and embodiment exercises and awareness exercises, the more I was able to move through blocks, move through, you know, coping mechanisms, childhood patterns, you know, that kind of stuff. And the more I was able to bring more of my fuller presence into my acting, the more courageous my acting was, the more um, secure I was in my sense of self, in my sense of self-worth and self-value and self-esteem, and the more I was able to fully immerse myself in characters and also um, be able to disconnect from characters, be able to switch off, be able to leave the character, you know, <clears throat> in the rehearsal room not take the character with me. Um, so yeah, so I felt it was high time to start sharing some of these tools. And just to be upfront and clear, the main work that will be going on will be the classes that uh, we explore every week. And over lockdown, we've been exploring those classes through Zoom. So if you do want to get involved in the classes, I'll put a little email um, at the bottom of the screen and you're welcome to contact me. I'm going to set up a website and everything soon as well, so um, that'll be easier to contact as well. But I also felt it was worth opening up the dialogue for this approach, you know, to the wider community. How we can bring more sacredness into our art form, how we can um, offer ourselves and give to the art form instead of what can I get from the art form, how can I take from the art, art form, what's the art form going to do for me, how is the art form going to prop me up or make me famous, make me wealthy, <laughs> um, you know, boost my self-esteem, my sense of self-worth, make me feel more secure. If we learn to work on those things and build up our 
self-worth and self-value and self-love, then we can approach the art from, from a more selfless place, from a, a more altruistic place, and from what we can give to the art form rather than what we can get to the art, you know, get from the art form. There's a great quote that I saw floating around on Facebook a couple of months ago by Bill English, and it says, theatre is like a gym for empathy. It's where we can go to build up the muscles of compassion, to practice listening and understanding and engaging with people that are not just like ourselves. We practice sitting down paying attention and learning from other people's actions. We practice caring. And, and while I absolutely wholeheartedly agree with that, I think what's missing in a lot of acting training is the work on self, you know. The thing about acting is that we are the musician and the instrument that we play on, you know. We are the pianist and we are the piano. We are the painter and the canvas. So everything is coming and moving through us, you know, through our being, which is wonderful and exhilarating, but also tricky, you know, in terms of um, learning on how to set chords and appropriate boundaries and, you know, um, to not take things personally, you know, all that kind of stuff. And one of the key areas that I think needs work on in more actor training is, is exploring ourselves at a deeper level. Um, you know, that old adage, you know, know thyself. If we don't truly investigate ourselves and, you know, through these spiritual practices and, you know, meditations and awareness exercises, we're able to come into contact with different parts of ourselves that we might skim over in our day-to-day -day lives, you know, coping mechanisms, you know, fear-based patterns, you know, just ways of dealing with the harshness of life. And as we, you know, explore these through meditations, through, you know, introspection, exercises and bring acceptance and compassion to ourselves we're able to bring compassion and non-judgment to the characters we play we're able to bring those characters to life with more dimension with more complexity and with more heart and more compassion and as a consequence the audience is able to connect with the specificity of that story on a much deeper level as a kid, I was incredibly sensitive, you know, sensitive to people's thoughts, people's judgments, people's projections at me, sensitive to people's opinions, definitely sensitive to, you know, rejections or, you know, setbacks or being overlooked for a role, you know, that kind of stuff. Also, you know, I was hypersensitive to dynamics in the room if people had had an argument or if, you know, there was um, an agenda in the room or if there were egos or politics, you know, in the rehearsal room or in the uh, training institution. I picked it up and I let it rock me in a really big way. Now, sensitivity is a wonderful gift to have as an actor and a wonderful skill to bring to our acting but like all gifts until we're able to work with our gifts often our gifts can be our greatest curses so it wasn't until i found you know working with meditation found these spiritual tools that i was able to strengthen uh, myself and get on a secure um, footing and approach my acting from a place of courage and confidence and exploration. So a big part of why I'm uh, wanting to teach this work and share it to the wider community is because this industry is 
can be really toxic and kind of vampiric you know it it just sort of uses and abuses people and sort of sucks them in and chews them up and spits them out and in many ways there's not a lot of um, um, care and sensitivity approached with the training um, and people can just you know go off the rails or you know go down a, um, a massive detour so if actors can have these tools and work with these experiences then they can um, build up more resilience um, build up more confidence more calm assurance more self-acceptance and can approach uh, the industry and approach their careers with um, much more certainty much more you know, calm assurance and you know self-love and self-worth so if you feel drawn to this way of working and you connect to what I'm sharing then feel free to get in contact and you know come along to one of the zoom classes um, we will be resuming classes in person soon just once all the you know the lockdown stuff finishes and yeah um, let's open up a dialogue of how we can bring more sacredness and more selflessness into our art forms and feel free to comment or share the videos and there'll be more videos to come and um, I look forward to going on the journey with you. Thanks a lot for listening and thanks for your time. See ya.